Priest here today to share with you how to make this fun conversation heart necklace. So you're going to need some E6000, a paintbrush, some pale acrylic paint, you could use any pastel color that a conversation heart would come in, an eye pin, and a piece of chain. And you'll also need this smooth foam heart. So this is the perfect size and shape for a conversation heart. And because it's made out of foam, it makes a really nice lightweight pendant for a jewelry piece or a necklace. Now you can wear this all year long, not just at Valentine's Day, as a fun and cute statement and conversation piece. So you're gonna paint your um, smooth foam heart with acrylic paint. And what I found is that if I stick a toothpick in the top where I'm going to be putting the eye pin um, that that helps to hold on to the um, heart a little bit better while painting. Now you're going to want to add two coats of paint to this so that it's covered really really well and in between coats you're going to stick the other end of the toothpick into another sheet of smooth foam to let it dry. Now once it's dry you're going to take a T pin and this is just a, a heavy stick pin and press it into the heart to make a hole to put your eye pin. Now you might need to trim the eye pin and then I stuck the eye pin inside of a bottle of E6000 and stuck that into the heart to hold it all in place. This is what's going to create the bail for the necklace to hang from. The next thing you're going to need is a couple pairs of pliers, some red uh, stamping ink, and some stamps, and also a piece of chain and two jump rings. So this is what you're going to use to make your sentiment. You can have it say whatever you want. Just look at some conversation hearts to get ideas. Um, Katie wanted this one to say, you are cute. So you're going to kind of position your stamps to figure out if they're going to fit and how to lay them out. And then once you have that figured out, go ahead and use your stamping ink to stamp right onto the smooth foam. Now I'm using a dye ink because it dries really fast and it works great on this acrylic paint. Next, you're going to use a jump ring or you can use um, a clasp to close off your chain. Because my piece of chain is really long and it'll fit over my head, I'm just going to use a jump ring to close the chain um, onto itself to make an actual necklace. Then I'll use another jump ring to attach the heart pendant to the chain. And this is a technique that Jen Cushman showed me. You use your two different pairs of jewelry pliers to open the jump ring from side to side. And then once you've put your pendant on and then you've put your piece of chain through it, you're going to um, move the sides of the jump ring back and forth about three or four times and that's gonna help to lock it into place. It basically work hardens the metal so that it won't bend anymore. So that's what I did here, made sure it was all nice and tightened, and then now it's ready to wear. So this is Katie wearing the um, little pendant. It actually looks like a candy conversation heart. And like I said, you can wear it all year long as a conversation piece, not just at Valentine's Day. I hope that you enjoyed this video. Please hit the subscribe button at the end and make sure you head over to the Smooth Foam blog to see more cool stuff using foam.